We're starting. Good evening and welcome to The Square. Tonight we'll be discussing the recently, repo uh, recently released audit report from the Editor General's Office. This was released on 30th April 2018 of this year. Some of the things we're going to be discussing tonight involve the audit report's findings uh, and some of the things that were found was the compilation of this report involved audits that covered 165 entities comprising of 139 budget agencies and projects and 26 district hospitals. These institutions covered in the current audit report are 18 more than they were last year. This evening, we are joined by the Auditor General himself, who honored our invitation to be on the square, Mr. Obadia Biraro. Thank you very much for being with us this evening. Yeah, thanks a lot for inviting me. Thank you. Uh, as always, the square is made up of resident panelists. Myself, uh, I'm Dan Mpisi, part of the square. As always, I'm joined by Berna Namata. Great to have you. And Charles Haber. Always a pleasure to have you. Good evening. How are you, Diana? Good. Yes. Usually on the square, the fourth panelist is Ephraim Ramenye, but he couldn't be with us as he's away on business. <coughs> but usually before we get on the square, um, we just want to have a review of the week that was. I will ask my colleagues, Brenna and Charles, just briefly. Uh, it's just the middle of the week, but it's been quite eventful. In your, your review, what, what has a week that, how, how has it been for you? Brenna? Um. <coughs> I think uh, for me, right now, something on my mind is, uh, is the flooding that, that is happening. Um, yes. Not just in Rwanda, but across the region. We could uh, possibly say that at the moment, East Africa is, uh, is underwater. And, uh, you know, looking at the scale of, of the damage, uh, the people who are most affected by this, you know, the most vulnerable in, in our society, the loss of lives, yeah, it's quite shocking. Um, I hope that uh, as a society we will be able to do something about it and not just uh, leave it to governments uh, to manage it. So for me, that's something that is still uh, very uh, vivid on my mind. Charles? Same. I said it last week. I'll repeat it. I hope it doesn't become a song. Disaster management is one thing, but disaster preparedness is, I think, where... Uh, a lot still remains to be done. Um, uh, when you look at things like uh, the, the, the floods and how the water runs downhill, uh, drainage, uh, the houses that are allowed to be built uh, on steep slopes and that remain there to be blown away. So, uh, you know, we've done so much in terms of decentralization and empowering uh, local leaders to be able to make uh, decisions I, I get the feeling that their decisions are so much inclined towards what will give them a lot of marks in their mihigo, as opposed to how they prepare for, for, for such things. So the, the, when you look at the death toll of 200 people plus, uh, could this have been avoided? Definitely yes, because people, so, so, so some of the people who have perished are people who have lived for years and, uh, and uh, on steep slopes, are some are some people who who, who live, uh, you know, a house is not something that you walk into a shop and walk out of uh, with. Uh, uh, so therefore, they, they they were built under the noses of these local leaders, and and somebody should be asked a question about the loss of these lives. Yes. Very sobering. Um, so, Mr. Biraro, we are going to get straight into the meat of tonight. Uh, yeah. The findings of your report that was released um, uh, at the end of April uh, last month. So my first question, and of course, as always, uh, my colleagues will weigh in with their follow-up questions, uh, but this is to the issue of delayed and abundant contracts. This is something that is a recurring issue, and um, yeah. in this particular uh, findings, it stated that a total of 109 contracts worth 206 Rwandan franc billion had been delayed or abandoned. Uh, this comprised of 83 delayed and abandoned contracts worth 158 billion uh, identified during the year in review. Um, so these numbers, you know, they're hefty numbers and these are contracts delayed for various reasons by various uh, agencies, uh, budget agencies. And in your expert opinion, uh, why does this happen? Why does it continue to happen? And what are some stringent measures you think can be taken to avoid this from happening next year, for instance? Uh, a very hard question. 
Yeah, thanks. That's why I came here. Yes. Um, I have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like yeah. that you came with the report itself. Fully prepared. You know? Oh, yes, yes. I am uh, seated with uh, very important people. With the people. numbers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 the numbers. Yeah. Anyway, your question is really, why, why does it continue to happen? Uh, you see, um, first and foremost, um, the government uh, implementers, implementers of, of uh, government budget, they have to implement. They have to, right enough, this, you have brought it at a time when, actually, if you go to parliament right now in the committee called the uh, there are those who call it the Commission de Budget. There are those who call it the Budget Committee. There are those people who are looking for money, who are to defend the projects and the budget they want for their various activities for the year 18, 19. So, uh, year in, year out, they have to do, um, I, I would say, their duties. Mm -hmm. And part of it, uh, and the bigger part, indeed, is to carry out uh, certain um, activities that should lead to, to delivery of goods and services, including which you have those contracts. So they have been happening, and uh, I think they keep on happening, but uh, going forward, there will be some correction of th these wrongs mm. that, that, uh, that seem to happen. Yeah, it's a combination of... Uh, various things. So I, I cannot say they should, but they will happen. I mean, it's inevitable. <laughs> if I may come in right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Um, yes. When you say that uh, they should and mm -hmm. they will happen, and yet when we look at your report, there are recurrent issues. Yes, you know, yeah. How do mm -hmm. you explain that? Yeah, by the way, Uta General does not explain that. No mm -hmm. for but you have a right to I'm your opinion, agent. but mm -hmm. you have an audit opinion. Yes, I have an audit opinion on the delayed uh, contracts. For example, in the boards and uh, government business, boards, boards, I hope you understand, eh? mm. and government business enterprises, within those 12 months, there were 30 delayed contracts. And the district 55. Uh, ministries and central government entities, five. Other projects, 19, adding up to 109, uh, as you wrote in your, your overview. So, so the uh, biggest problem is within the boards of the government business enterprises? Yeah, no, the biggest, really, quantitatively speaking here, are districts. But for me, I agree with you. The, the, the biggest culprit in here is uh, the boards. Okay. And, and why, why you should feel really, really not comfortable, it is in th those boards, uh, ordinarily they should have the, the capacity, financial, human, and what have you, to do what they do. And even feeling the, the, the sense of urgency. Mm. But, but we, we get really surprised maybe as much as you do why this happens, the delay. For example, you will find... No, but before, before you continue on that one, I think yeah. you raise extremely uh, pertinent issues. I think you're mm. being a bit diplomatic with your choice of words, Bwana <laughs> yeah. Obadia, that, 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 that you get really uh, uh, surprised by the boards. Yeah. And I think therein lies a problem. Mm -hmm. Each time when there's a cabinet meeting and you see the list of people who have been appointed to become board members of a particular government mm -hmm. business enterprise. And you look at the names and you wonder what value is that person going to add? And I think therein lies mm -hmm. a problem. Mm. Because practically what is going to happen is that they appoint these people to sit on those boards and the CEOs of those, of those uh, business enterprises end up bulldozing those boards, they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are boards. And um, and it should be the other way around. Yes, so yes, yes. So I, I, I would probably take that back to the Auditor General and mm. say and ask you, why is it that you do not uh, uh, emphasize the appointment of 
of uh, thick skinned board members mm. you know or uh, is it i i i have never or, or every time when you look at the audit report we, i don't know whether it's because we are alarmed by the figures and we don't look at the detail is there is there ever a recommendation in there that the boards are weak and therefore it is partly uh, one of the reasons why why these business enterprises yeah but dismally uh, as they do yeah thanks charles and and and, and the company you see, if you come to our office one day, and you should have done so a bit earlier, yes. uh, there is a report we did, a performance audit report. A performance audit report is the research-based kind of report, and it gives a lot of, you know, nitty-gritty kind of uh, details about the subject, which we, we wrote a report entitled Effectiveness of Boards of Directors in Rwanda. If you read that report and you refined um, some of your friends, we interviewed them. Then we should do that report in a way like publishing. By our friends, you're referring to some of your friends. Our <laughs> friends who are board members. Right? Yes, 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 yes. So, and, and for us, we issued that report and we wait for you people to take action. Um, let so me you, you issued a report yes. saying that the boards were weak. Yes, some strengths and weaknesses. It is okay yes. to be honest. The, the net, <laughs> it is okay to no, be honest. No, the, the net trade-off is weak. Weakness. Is weakness. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Let me wonder. Yeah. Um, how does it make you feel, you know, as as the auditor general, mm. if you year in year out, you know, you, you issue this report, yeah, and your recommendations are not respected, yeah. they are not taken into account. How does it make yeah. you feel? So bad because, you see, I'm part and parcel of the, 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 this value chain, if you may want. Um, I would want things to be improved. And if you look at the visio event, event, you know, improvement. And then we rush towards a, a visio vision 2050. How do we get there if we are not improving right now? So I would want things to be improved. I go to that office to audit, we talk good business and, you know, that's what I would want. But it's not what I see. Um, so, but there is Article 69 of Law Number 73 of 12 uh, September 2013. I know people don't like reading these things. <laughs> um, they're quite, so, they're quite technical. which, no, there's nothing technical about that. It is just about you who is who has been given uh, the duty of the, what they call fiduciary duty which is the duty of trust uh, he talked about cabinet but earlier i mean later on there is also going through um the senate to, to be approved mm. for you to be um to be a ceo of some of these uh, a gigantic organization you call uh, gbes or parastatals so the duty of trust enjoins you to read the constitution at 166, okay? Which says, and, and I think the week where it is now, you should have asked me, is it, what do you call it? Is, is it the fear of the week? I, I don't know, your yes. terminology. <laughs> the mm. review of the week. Uh, yes, mm. from 30 years to date. Mm. There is nothing, no language I have talked. No, in fact, from 26 April until now, I'm repeating that the constitution at 166, you know, enjoins you uh, who is appointed in those positions to read it before you read any other laws. That it has got three subsections. One, that all that money you went and asked for, mark you, you ask for. It's not that it is not imposed on you. You ask for it. Like you would call it imihigo. Mm -hmm. I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this for the public. Now, so they ask you, all that money, did you use it after 12 months? Auditor General, go there and tell us, did they use it for only priorities? In fact, for priorities only. Th that section or subsection, it ends with the word only, as if you're writing a check. Mm. Isn't it how you write a check? Exactly. Or mm. these days you use a... Uh, Mobile money. Only is there. Mobile money. <laughs> only is still there. Yes, yes only. Yes. You see, it is written there. Meaning, you have done all the due diligence and the mark you, you know, given mm. 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 
all the due diligence before you spent that money. You can write a book about that. You know, is it national priorities? The constitution is mainly like Charles. You know, in that, uh, at it's mean like Charles. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Charles, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, is it priorities only? That sentence. Mm -hmm. Number two, are you sure you, you are not negligent, leading to wasteful expenditure? Number three, which is really blunt. Auditor General tell the Parliament if that money was not put in embezzlement. Those three subsections are there, and therefore, whoever handles this government money, who has asked for it, must be aware of that. Then, that law is, is enabled. The, that part of the Constitution is enabled by an enabling law, which is an organic law on public finance management, uh, especially, uh, in fact, all the 78 or so, I think around 78 articles, they are about nothing but helping uh, the accounting officer to, to go about his business. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I, then other regulations, accounting manuals, prime minister's orders, see, and um, so on. If, yeah. if I may come in right there, mm. it is good that we, we have the framework. We have the policy framework yeah. that is supposed to you yeah. know, uh, help uh, facilitate implementation. Yeah. But if there's no respect for you know the policy framework this is why we have issues so from where you stand mm. in your office mm. do you what is lacking why um, are people you know not can respecting I, can i add to that and uh, i think this is something we even discussed before the show mm. began mm. maybe should the auditor general be given so to speak some more teeth prosecutorial powers do you think that is something that you know, instead of year in, year out, some of these issues happening, mm. is, is there an element you think, and this is just a question, you know, um, for, for up for debate, is, th is that a possible solution? Are you frustrated? No, I am not, because I do my job. Mm. And I do not do it as a matter of fashion, but as a matter of passion. So I cannot be frustrated. Mm. But rather, um, to, 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 to her question, uh, the Auditor General, all that, what you said, the Auditor General cannot want it mm. and, and will not go for it. Because, you see, uh, th there is a division of labor. Absolutely. And the division of labor aims at efficiency. So, if A is eff efficient, B is somehow efficient, and C is not efficient, the sum total will it be not good? I mean, I'm interested in, in defining B and C. <laughs> and um, uh, I, 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 I assume that yeah. the, the A for efficiency is the Auditor General. Yeah. And he will point out all these uh, uh, short, shortcomings. Yes, in black and white. In black and white. Yeah. Then, the A, the, then the B will, will most likely be the Prosecutor's Office or today uh, RIB, the Rwanda... Uh, investigation bureau, mm -hmm. yes, and then the C will eventually be the the judge if the person is brought before a mm -hmm. court of law. Yeah. Yes. So uh, my understanding, therefore, is that um, is that you are not happy with the prosecutors, generals, and then the judiciary uh, uh, departments. Yeah, but but before that, you mm -hmm. see, you people, um, there is some law which is is it a periodic law or what, something like that which rushes to punishing. Mm. For me, I, I would first and foremost go for administrative actions that examine why what is wrong may have gone wrong. You see, the international norms... Which is very good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The, the international norms on assessing these public servants, uh, why they have not done what they should do. There are three areas that you examine. Uh, one incompetence, number two, indifference, number three, recklessness. So for me, I would... So which one is our problem in this case? A combination I of I hope it's not three. a combination <laughs> of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you Let him answer. He does the report. Yeah, what the, is our these, problem? These perils at times can be my friends. They have helped me. <laughs> <laughs> it is a combination. It's a, a combination. combination of but, largely, but largely, is it incompetence? Is it 
What is let, it? Let I think the it. first one you already yeah. said it. He yeah. said he has a problem with the incompetence of the boards. Yeah. He has already. He has already. I put it in black. Yeah, he put it in black. You guys read it, and you can help us. Yes, and then on the second one, really on on indifference, and I think this is actually a nationwide problem, because Rwanda is very strict on anti-corruption, and 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 the price that you pay for embezzlement is extremely high, if you are found guilty. What we are seeing generally today is a position where. Many, m many leaders in positions of responsibility are indifferent. And therefore, and in the report you will see, as of June, uh, 30th, June 2017, he points out, uh, 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 the Auditor General points, out, points to delayed contracts. Mm. He points out to losses caused by, by indecision. Mm -hmm. And that is, the, the, the reason for that is, uh, people, uh, some CEOs will sit down and say, I am not going to do it for fear of mm -hmm. the repercussions being I, I spent so much mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. and therefore I have a personal basically yeah. this, yes. and this is what we suffer from yes accountability mm -hmm. yeah. or lack thereof yes. based on and various yes. fears and, and, as you're, as and you're and pointing out Diana, Bana and myself where we are all business people we, we, we deal with a lot of, 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 of these government entities the pain you go through to get mm. a decision made mm. Mm. is extremely frustrating that you actually see that people fear to make decisions. And I remember uh, uh, one time in one of the press conferences, uh, I think it was in 2017, um, one journalist asked the head of state that question. And the head of state's response was, why don't they fear to make decisions when they are eating? <laughs> the leaders mm. and they fear to make the decisions mm. when they are not supposed to be eating. He says the the the, 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 the pace at which you make decisions should uh -huh. be equally the same whether you have personal gain or not. Yeah, yeah. But uh, 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 precisely, uh, we, we need to inculcate a culture of responsiveness, whether it is. Uh, 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 for the good or the bad, and I think yeah. those are uh, the auditor general has 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 really put a slow mod amongst CEOs mm. and 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 the, and the entire uh, uh, decision making organs of some of these government business enterprises. I'm afraid to say. And 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 uh, Mr. Biaro, just yeah. uh, another question to, to the layperson who, mm. who's watching this show, uh, mm. and, and again, in your expert opinion, yeah. what is a general, if you can give us a snapshot, mm. the cost of these abandoned and delayed contracts to just citizens and, and businesses? Yeah, you see. If you can just break um, it down for people to understand the impact. Uh, yes, I will say it in, in, in the language we use, mm. and I hope you guys can make it simpler. <laughs> um, but... The, 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 these boards, for example, the, the boards are put in place. It's the strategic intent of government putting a board. It is for a board, government enterprise, business enterprise, to deliver goods and services to the people in a manner that is efficient. Otherwise, so, they would have left it to the minister of ETC. So, sometimes we get the impression that the boards are put in place. Mm to give some extra remuneration for these already poorly paid civil servants. No, really, I wouldn't yeah. say so. Don't be mean to government. <laughs> <laughs> government puts in place these boards. You can enumerate them. Name mm. any one of them. Th then you would but see... But they're very poorly remunerated. The board sitting allowances are so poor that you, you, you cannot attract good quality. I'm told in some of the boards they earn as little as 50,000 francs per sitting. No, but um, uh, yes. <coughs> I don't think it should be about money. Exactly. No, 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 no. no. Let me really tell you. Me. Let me, it, it, it's <laughs> very, very simple. Yeah. No, I, th I don't Go think to it the should corporate be about world. money. Go to the corporate We cannot world. compare. But corporate yeah, and yeah. government is different. No, no, no. We cannot so, compare. Some of these corporates don't, don't make as much money or don't so, bring so in as right. much money but this is part as, as, the, as the government business enterprises. If you are appointed tomorrow, yes. uh, you come from the corporate world, you are appointed tomorrow as a board member. You just go there. And you go in a slumber, you buy a mattress <laughs> from uh, Rwanda Form, <laughs> you go and sleep there just because you are poorly paid? No, 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 no. no. <coughs> what will actually happen mm. is because the money is so little, then it, it will no. attract somebody who does not mind that little money. I don't think so. I, no. I think it should Brenna, be, yes. I, I think it has to, to be uh, looked at beyond uh, what am I getting in it, but the service. Yeah. Because... Uh, from what I understand, the little I understand about public service 
it is service beyond self, if mm. I may use mm. the Rotarian word. Yeah, yeah. So you're doing this for the nation. You're not doing it, you know, just because of the allowance. So for me, I wouldn't worry about how much they are paid, yeah? But the quality of, 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 of the people, you know, the, the, the thinking, are you appointing people that are adding value or not? And perhaps, uh, because I've had, uh, I don't know whether it's true, they, you know, sometimes they say people are forced to in courts, you know. But I, I, I thought it should be about someone saying, I'm willing to, to, to do this and I'm happy to do this. Yeah. L l l let know? me tell but you. Charles, you some impression that you, you need to correct here. Eh? If you, you say that they are poorly paid and they, they do almost nothing, do you know you are being malicious to them? No, no, no. I, because I, you, are, I, you are saying... I, first they, of all, I, 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 will, I will probably they, put they a disclaimer. Yes. They, they are calling. If you accept to go and sit there, mm -hmm. and you, you, they, that's you a, just That's do, assuming they have a choice. Why not? You, you have a choice. But let me just steer the conversation back, uh, Auditor General, to the impact of these... Yes, GBEs. the impact I'll tell yes. you. Now, um... The, the, what we follow in, in, in this public uh, sector audit are the three E's, and you may add there another two to make them five. That's what I told the parliament on 30th April, that all these resources that the government has put forward, do you know what the budget, the, the, the BFP? BFP, hoping you know what the BFP, <laughs> those are BFP, <laughs> yes. Um, I think it will be something in the region of 2,400 billion. So it will be broken down in small bits and bits to suit all those who want to use government money for delivery of goods and services. Now, uh, and once the, the budget, which will be read in about a month's time, okay, to the public, it becomes, it becomes a raw finance bill, which has got a life of only 12 months, that go and do what you have asked this money for in 12 months and bring back results. That, those results are written in what you call budget execution report. Now, therefore, if you don't do what you asked for, mm -hmm. money for, impact is what you, you are talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, you can, uh, in, in Appendix 3A and B of this report, which I have no time to read now, but I read it in Parliament, and it's going to be scrutinized. You people try to go and attend the park, park hearing. Mm. It is public. Nobody will chase you because you are banner. Um, <laughs> I've been just to listen some, to, actually. Yes, yes. Listen to what happens there. Mm. That uh, why did you delay this contract? Delaying means what? Some of them, for example, go to Nyagatari somewhere. Mm. Mm? Some of friends of Charles. <laughs> um, th there is a contract there which is... is more than four years old. It was oh. put there to, to, to build a college, I think, hmm? uh, a hostel or whatever, four years later. Four years later, somebody has graduated. Of course. And now, if you graduate through thin and thick, hmm? um, those, you know, the poor facilities, ETC, arising from no accommodation, ETC, most likely you'll get grades which are not uh, all that good. So I the impact in a straight line, you will say, goods and services have not been delivered to the Wananchi who actually deserve them, for whom the government has got all that good wishes. I actually uh, like that example. In, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, if, if I may just come in right there. Mm. Um, we are talking about, let's shift the discussion and take it to the parliamentary hearings that mm -hmm. you, you, you mentioned. Yeah. From my observation, what usually happens is the officials show up, yeah. they are questioned, mm. apologies are made, mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm, they are, they and, are, and, and, and how that is actually reflected is in your report. Yes, yeah, in you know, year out. Yes, yes. yeah, in year out. So, but there, um, how do we fix I, that? I, I wish you go there in the week beginning Monday, and you begin asking that question to, to the Public Accounts Committee. Um, do you think we could me, do more? The Public Accounts Committee mm, could do more to ensure that you... Why not? Yes, but, but uh, the, the process, I, I think they should do more. Mm. 
or do you, or those others mm. other institutions that are associated with them both at that moment and after in terms maybe of there action isn't more huh? to do yeah <laughs> action points and, mm. yes Brian, uh, action quickly points. before we go for a break in terms of mm. action points mm. if we are to say they need to do more mm. what what needs they to they be need done? to do more are you incompetent why are you there I, yes. I said it's yes. environment. Yes. 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 These are international norms of civil servants assessment uh, once something goes wrong. Are you incompetent? Why are you there? Uh, were you not capable of doing feasibility study? Uh huh. So, but the constitution I said was it a priority? Priority is, is, can only be, uh, you know, known once you do the like, feasibility study and so on and so forth. Are you incompetent? Why are you there? Are you indifferent? And that's very dangerous mm. to sit in, in those uh, air conditioned rooms and yeah. so on. And, and you, you don't are care. indifferent. You can't be bothered. Uh, yes. Know? It is written in the Constitution. Mm. No, no, no small document. You know? I didn't spoil anything, uh -huh. and neither did I do anything. But so my life, yes. The suffering. Yes. Mm. Constantly. Uh, okay. So, yes. so then, are, are you reckless? It's mm. heavy. Reckless, it means you are here and you know tomorrow. In fact, I'm better off gone, having destroyed this and that mm. for my own interest. So, Infinity. whichever of the three, mm. then, so the three is I was talking about is the efficiency, if, if, uh, I mean the economy, efficiency, and effectiveness. Mm. And these were written in the books before every one of you were born in the days of Adam Smith, mm. that so the public resources are scarce, yes. and all of you who use them must bear in mind and given there, now there is something I, I found you saying uh, regarding the week that passed. You are lucky that you don't know E number four, environmental consideration. Mm. E number five, equity. Okay? So whoever uses the government money to do all these things must mind those five E's. And factor them in. Yes, so perhaps we'll, we'll, people we'll are be appointed, back. They should come to you for orientation. We'll be so back that, after you the know, break. Uh, you, you just have just, to call me. Let's break up for a few minutes. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. We're here with the yeah. Auditor General, Mr. Obadia Bidaro, discussing the audit findings, the audit report of the year 2017. Stay tuned and we'll be with you soon. Thank you and uh, welcome back to the square. So Mr. Auditor General, Mr. Biraro, the next question I have for you is to do with unqualified audit opinions. And again, it comes back to the culprits, the said culprits, as you said, these are government uh, GBEs, business enterprises. And uh, in this uh, audit report, uh, 2017 yeah. audit report, yeah. you know, a lot of them were actually, the usual uh, number of them, a set of them were, were faulted mm. for. Mm. unqualified uh, audit opinions. Again, this is a recurring issue, but uh, these are drivers of, of the economy in different sectors. Yes, How yes, do they get yes. away with this? L L I know it, it ties in uh, with yes. the boards, the issues we've talked about, incompetence, but these GBEs, how, mm. how, how do they get away with this? Let, let me just, uh, uh, re directly related to that, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Diana, and uh, especially because it's recurrent, mm. unqualified audit reports, Opinions. Ex uh, opinions, sorry. Extremely alarming figures of, of uh, unaccounted for funds. 
and it almost makes me feel that the Auditor General's report is alarmist in nature. Otherwise, if it was not alarmist, mm -hmm. we would be seeing people being brought to book. I know earlier in the first part of the show, the Auditor General said that uh, the partner institutions that would, should be supporting uh, him to be able to address some of these things are, are, are not coming to the party as well as he would like to, has faltered them a little bit. Mm -hmm. But what I, sometimes I feel is, isn't, isn't Obadiah's office probably building a mountain out of a molehill? Is, is, the, is the problem that severe? If it was that severe, we are mm. a no-nonsense country. We would mm. be seeing people losing their jobs, people uh, ending up in prison and what have you, at a higher actually. rate than it is today. Mm. Yeah? So, so you sometimes think, I think maybe I his alarmist and yes, issue is not that serious, but probably, which also probably. on the other spectrum because begs I, the question, how do they keep on getting I, away I am with sure. This? I am sure about a few things. I am sure that our prosecution department is not a sleepy organ. I am sure that each time that the Auditor General's report, I'll give, I'll give uh, Mutangana and his team the benefit of doubt that they actually go deep to investigate some of these uh, things. Most likely, they don't find, mm. uh, uh, you know, before you take a, 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 a dossier to court, there has to be you know, it has to be beyond reasonable doubt. There has to be irrefutable proof that this man actually stole the money, that this man actually embezzled, that this man is actually incompetent, that this man is actually, uh, what was the other word, insensitive or indifferent. 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 And they fail to find proof of that. Mr. Biwari, what do so you have to say to Charles's, yes. uh, I, I don't know, <laughs> speculative <laughs> uh, no, no, accusation? Probably, ah. probably. Is it, is it probably alarmist? that the that report is alarmist, taking, I think. Otherwise, if it wasn't it? alarmist, yeah. people would, would be languish. There would be an entire mm. cabinet Force. and government in Majerajit. I don't agree with you, but Auditor General, yeah. what do you have to say to that? Yeah, I, I thank you because I uh, you know you went to some very good primary <laughs> school. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know better English than Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Charles is an alarmist, Mr. Trump. Yeah. You see, you can't tell a lie if you don't know the truth. And you can't be an alarmist. That's a good one. Yes. <laughs> you, you, ca you can't be an alarmist if you have written this book. Yes. Yeah? So th this is scientifically derived. International Supreme Audit Institutions Standards. 24 countries in Africa that report their report in English except one who writes it in, in Portuguese. Portuguese. Mm. They are meeting in Kigali from Monday to fourth, I mean to, to Thursday. It's going to be the alarmist? biggest convention of alarmists. <laughs> 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 but, but I wish you came and I introduced you to them. You asked them, yes. you know. Mm. But you see, uh, in 1904, these things were there. There was a case in the UK. You ask Attorney General, he knows it. In, in the UK, uh, the, 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 the Kingston Cotton Mills, in the House of Lords, and the judge was Rod Denning, who was a mathematician. And he said, the, the auditor is not a blood hound. That, that English is a very old one. Huh? <laughs> uh, the auditor is not a blood hound, but he's a watchdog. Yeah. Mm? Now, uh, watchdog for who? For one inch. He shall not approach his work with the foregone conclusion that things are wrong. Because that they bought the, 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 the duty of trust. These guys who are given these billions are trusted officers. And the judge went on to say, he shall not be guilty of trusting trusted officers of these uh, officers. Therefore, but where his suspicion has been aroused, he shall probe that to the root. And that's what I do before I write this. Probe it to the root. Yes. And I pa pass it on to you people. And I wait to see what you people will do. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> I, I think that's uh, perhaps uh, what he's trying to insinuate by saying uh, alarmist. Uh, yeah, Charles and the company. <laughs> 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 if they don't do their job. <laughs> yeah, uh, which no? points to, to, to the bigger problem of, yeah. you know, the... B and C that have to do something about your reports. 
that perhaps are not yes. doing as yes. much as, yes. as they go should. out and do you know the the, the 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 you see this book you see here is as uh, which is required by law and bought by law okay um contains what you would call a management tool it is age old in in the common law kind of practice um it is a management tool that you would use to say, please so and so. Why does this happen? Because it is, mark you, the science behind this. I know she has come to our office one time, but she came in the hurry, she did not read enough. <laughs> but if you can see the science that is involved here, to arrive here, you would really say, I think, let me take this report, those individual reports you mentioned, 139 plus 26, and I think use it to do something. So please, you people, do something. So, how, I mean, how do we solve this issue? How do we make your, you know, your, your, your work easier, your report more effective to the extent that it is not just a document that is published and put out there? Let me tell and, you, you know, the, what the, do we the, do? The, the, the E number three is about effectiveness. Mm. If, if you go, and we did, we did a performance audit report regarding um, construction of primary schools, laboratories, and so on. Um, earlier on, we had done <coughs> another one um, in the health sector, where you find, say, an incinerator was done, and four years later, it is not working. How do you do that? I will also ask you, please go and do. <laughs> yes. So, and uh, effectiveness. Can I just make one point? Yes. On Before we go Before to you. our yes, social yes, field. Yes, yes. Effectiveness yes. means <coughs> a road which, which is supposed to be scientifically by engineering. Unfortunately, mm. none of you is an engineer. <laughs> uh, me, I tried a, a little. <laughs> um, I work a lot with engineers. So, yes, fine. Yes. But you see, a road which is supposed to, 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 uh, to be there intact for like five, seven years, no portal, no maintenance. Do you know what they call a retention fee? Yes, yes. of course. It, it is for how many years? Depends, depends, but usually about 12 oh. months. Mm. Usually about 12 months. A year? Mm. Yes. For a road? No, no, road because is a this lot This building here? Yeah. Well, that's an argument for you another day. No, 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 your experience. But experience. usually in buildings, it's about 12 months. For roads, yes. shouldn't it be... It should much be, yeah, it should definitely be a, a lot longer. Yeah, much, much yeah. longer. Mm. And, and it has a life. Yes. Do you know what they call internal rate of return? Yes. When the FDB wants to give you a loan for a, for a road? So it means that this road, say, may be there for like seven years, no nothing happening. And you find that you pass there, portals are there. There is one road which I do not want to mention. My Please deputy do. passed there. <laughs> uh, the, the terms of reference today are not correct. You <laughs> <laughs> should have made them correct. Uh, uh, and so, and you find it requires more uh, repairs, etc. That is lack of effectiveness. Mm. Effectiveness mm. means, or lack of it, means when the outcomes are not equivalent to the investment. Mm. Okay? I when can, when I they can. pay back, like a, a, a hydropower dam, hmm? When the payback is unnecessary too long, is not commensurate the investment and the nature of whatever is uh, supposed to be done. So, uh, and these things have to be examined. I can relate. Yes. I can relate see, to the issue of when roads. When you see what yeah. you are saying, that it, it rains, do you know there is a forecast when you are building a dam, for example, a dam, you read here in this report, when you are building a dam, you should have had meteorological, not metro, meteorological information for the last 25 years. The rain wow. pattern. So these are I things, yes. so these these are things are that determine absolutely. The, the, effectiveness. the effectiveness and so on and mm. so forth. Mm. Mr. Yeah. Auditor General, let's just quickly go yeah. to our tweets. Yeah. And uh, this is on the issue of, again, incompetence. Um, your audit reports, again, incompetence, effectiveness, but our audience is actually picking up on on the findings of this report and yeah. uh, what it is. So question to Obadiah. If incompetence is one of the key issues, why do we keep then appointing incompetent people? 
Is this issue, is the issue that the appointing authority is also incompetent? No, not at all. For me, I look at it at the end. And I say, you person, you accounting officer, please, if not incompetent, tell us why this <coughs> is the case. I have not judged that. You know, there is, there is it, it, each of the three ends at the question mark. Mm. Now, the onus is upon you to prove that. You're not incompetent. Yeah. So otherwise, me, I don't pass a judgment. Mm -hmm. I only pass an opinion here. But as to why it happens, people like Bernard should go and do research. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, do I put your agree. investigative I, journalism yeah. to, to yeah. use yeah. This, I mean, on this issue. Some of you, the revelations are actually quite I've shocking. I've given you raw material. Yes, quite shocking. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. in your report, you mention of a dam that is, doesn't have water, you know. It uh, is here. Mm. With 579,000 cubic meters required, it should be filled in mm. that. And... Um, and they have the same quantity of air. Yeah, I, I listened to the BBC somewhere a dam in somewhere in East Africa country was held for uh, Country X. Pa yes, mm -hmm. Country X. And and somebody commented that, oh, you know what? There was a design problem. The inlet is at the same level with the the, the outlet. That's a bit of some little physics. Yeah. And engineering. Not everyone studied. But uh, let yes. me talk so about effectiveness of roads. An yes. But yeah. for us, mm -hmm. we look at the, uh, the input versus the output mm -hmm. versus the outcomes, and we, we end up in, in um, value for money opinion. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I want to talk about value for money opinions just after yeah. uh, relating, with, um, relating to the point Obadiah raised around uh, effectiveness. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I know, again, uh, recently at the leadership retreat, the head of state talked about uh, people who are in a hurry to fix a road because they know he's going to use that road. Yes. Now, it actually happens, and I'll give a practical road. There's a, a practical example. There's a road that, uh, the roundabouts that were done last year towards the time, I think 2016, when we were going to host the AU summit. Uh, so there's a new roundabout that was created just before the convention center that leads to another one that's called, that's around Ninzi. Now, for a fact, whenever you procure in a hurry, you will definitely procure expensively. Of course. Worse still, whenever you procure expensively, you, 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 you're left with a very, very narrow time frame. So you're most likely going to single source or you work with, or you, you finger point and work with whoever is available to do the job. Mm -hmm. The direct impact of that is that you might not be able to, to procure other services like supervision or go through the process that Obadiah was explaining earlier on of retention. Now, it's that particular road, it's less than two years old, and you can already drive through it and feel you're driving through a dent you can visually see uh, a wear and tear on the roads, which is... And this is a two-year-old yeah, road, less than two-year-old two year, Yes, road. less than two years old, which yeah. is it's, 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 it's yeah. extremely painful. And I, I'm sure uh, Obadiah relates with that, and that's what he was talking yeah. about, uh, uh, effectiveness. The second point is, is, is really ar around the value for money audits. And uh, here, to some extent, I will fault the Auditor General's uh, report. When you look at some of these government business enterprises mm. that are out there to compete with other public players, yes, I mean private players, like e enterprise. yes, yes yeah. because of yeah. the E, the enterprise. Yeah. And I'll give an example of, say, RBA. You may find that RBA is required to source uh, uh, competing uh, Say if the, maybe the square is a perfect example to give because the square and the and some other programs are sold. Uh, I think even the property show are sold to RBA. Yes, you so may find they are outsourced. You may find that in somewhere in the laws of RBA, the auditor general will come up and say you did not go through the right procurement mm. process mm. to procure this, the this property context. show or, or mm. the square, and yes. it then beats common logic that if these are government enterprises that are competing in the space of 
uh, with other private entities, you can find that maybe they are blaming Radio Rwanda for dropping a, 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 a red card. Or maybe they are going to, the Auditor General is going to, to, to blame RSSB for dropping rental rates so that they can have their occupancy uh, levels of their buildings mm. be uh, fairly high. Mm. Or maybe they are going to blame Rwanda for procuring, for single sourcing spare parts of of uh, Airbus, mm. yet there's only one supplier in the, in, in, in the world. Mm. So the point I'm raising is, uh, I think uh, the way they audit these, these, uh, these uh, uh, government business enterprises should be with a view of knowing that they are enterprises from, from, from the well. onset. And they, are, and they are playing in an extremely competitive environment. Mr. Viraro, yes. we have five minutes uh, <coughs> and less before we close. <coughs> Uh, and I'd like to give you... You want me to comment? <laughs> if you can comment and close, if you can yes. give your, your oh, remarks as well. Yes, all oh, right. Yes. <laughs> is I think um, I, I think is not correct. The way we audit, once we find you with E, enterprise, we audit you as an enterprise. From the get-go? From the yes. beginning? Inter international standards on auditing, international supreme audit institutions, standards, nothing short of that. And the way we write that report, just reading it will show you really how, what you went through. So, uh, you so can the scapegoat that, that some of these leaders give us that they fear the Auditor General, so therefore they are not <laughs> now going now to... Now, let me yes, tell you, yes. th that word fear, mm. you seem to be helping them. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, it, 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 you see, it, it all emanates from yeah. the, 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 the duty of trust. Yeah. You cannot fear. Auditor General. Why should you fear no, the, Brenda, is it the Auditor General? General? Uh, just hold on. Yes. Is it the Auditor General that appointed you? Absolutely not. But so the Auditor you, you General fear can the get you sucked. Absolutely. You. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and the whole reason of why this uh, the, 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 the organization is there. Mark you. Anyway, let me leave this one. Yes. Uh, the, the whole thing of forming this uh, business enterprise, this board, just be sure that you are delivering. Otherwise, Auditor General, by the way, Auditor General provides a management tool. Mm. So uh, why should you fear this one who comes to, to well, provide you? you. It, yes. it is yes. an additive mm. in the quest to manage well so that you can deliver goods and services <coughs> to an entity. And they see on the road, Chigari is a very small city, and they say, oh, this is our man, Charles Haba. <laughs> why don't you want that? Auditor General, yeah. the square, <laughs> I have to respect our time. Um, we've come to the end of this show and uh, we are, we are very allowed to give conclusive remarks? <laughs> yes. Do we have? No, we don't uh, have time for that. Uh, yeah. But uh, thank you very much for being here. And this yeah. is very insightful, not only to us at the square, but also to people who are watching, especially based on uh, the tweets that we are, we are we'll having. Have and to I think him again. we have to have you again yeah. on this show um, too enlighten us on some more issues, uh, not just about audit reports, but just um, the manner of how your office operates. So thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for being here. Brenna and Charles, always heated debates with the two of you. Uh, we'll be with Ephraim next week, uh, hopefully. And to our audience members, thank you very much for watching. We are always uh, here on Wednesday at 9 p.m. and rebroadcasted at 2.30 p.m. every Thursday. Also catch us on our YouTube links which we upload immediately after the show. Uh, keep the conversation going on Twitter, on the, the square, hashtag the square RW. It's been a pleasure hosting the square as always. Thank you and see you next week. Okay. <laughs>